Hello friends welcome back today we would be learning something very interesting that is how to automate file uploads using excel macro now I have this kind of a website in which I have this control where which is used to actually upload files you must be seeing this kind of a control on multiple websites so if ever you want to upload some files what you have to do is click on this browse button this kind of a window will come up where you will select your file and click on open and this file will get uploaded so what if we want to automate this process to automate it we'll write a simple excel macro so first i'll demonstrate how this automation actually works and then i'll show you how to code for it so this is my excel if i just click on this button you could see this website has come up it has clicked on the browse button now it is waiting for the file to get uploaded and now you see automatically it has put the file path and clicked on open and if you would see now I'll just maximize this here you could see it has automatically put the file over here so that was the demo I hope you liked the demo and now we'll move to the interesting part where we would be actually writing the code to achieve the same so we'll go to the VBA editor within the Excel and here if you would see I have written some code like where I am navigating to this website and then I am clicking the button like this button is actually this browse button the line of code which I am highlighting right now is for clicking that button now if people have doubt around all these syntaxes I would request you to please view one of my previous tutorials the link to that tutorial I will provide in the description section so that you will know what kinds of settings you need to do to open the website and do perform the clicks on that button so now this is a very simple code in which I'm just clicking the browse button so if I execute it you'd see in few seconds the website would come up which it has come and now it has clicked on the browse button and here if you'd see now since I have not included the code to actually select any file it has stopped over here it has actually paused over here and now at this point if I try to move back to my code window I am unable to do so because this window is not allowing me to go back to my code so this I'll be able to move back to my code window only if I am able to close this window for now I'm just clicking on this cancel button and once I do that I'm able to move back to the code window so one important part which we learned over here is until and unless we do not dismiss that file uploader window we won't be able to execute the next line of code I'll explain it to you by putting a breakpoint over here and re-executing so once again I execute the website has come up and now it is over here and it is not allowing me to go back until I click on this cancel button or upload a file so when I click on this cancel button the execution moves forward and now it has halted to the breakpoint which I placed over here so it is very important to note that if we would try to write some code after this line which I am highlighting to provide the file path and upload the file that would not work because the window would come in between and will not allow the execution to proceed forward until and unless that window has been dismissed so how would we actually write the code to upload the file we'll use a small trick and with the help of the trick we would achieve the automated file uploading so as I said we'll use a trick but to write the code of the file uploading we'll not do it after clicking on the browse button in fact we will use it before this line of code which is actually clicking the browse button and activating the file uploader window so the code which we are writing above this highlighted line goes like this these three lines of code I'll explain you each and every line do not worry so the first line here we have created a variable str upload file and just we have given any path of the file like this is the file which I want to upload so we have mentioned the entire file path now the next two lines of code these two lines are the heart of automated file upload 
this will make sure that your file uploads automatically onto the web portal so if you see i have created another variable str vbs file and now i have given the path of one vbs file i'll show you what this vbs file is and the entire logic of actually uploading the file resides in this file upload.vbs file and then in the next line we are using this shell command to actually execute this vbs file so if you would see the shell command we have to specify this vbs file so here it is actually incorrect i'll just correct it it should be str vbs file so this file would get executed through the shell command and here i have provided one parameter so syntax is like this like it is getting highlighted you should leave a space using the ampersand operators and then provide the parameter and this parameter is this str upload file and this is the actual file which is getting uploaded on the web portal so th this was about the syntax now actually we will move forward and see what is written in this file upload dot vbs file so this is the file upload dot vbs file i'll just show you what is written in this file i'll increase its font here you go so it is a very simple file i'll explain you what has been written so do not worry it would be very easy to understand so here is the first line where we create the object of w script dot shell so this syntax would remain as is and these next lines which i'm highlighting the next three lines this is a do loop so this do loop is actually executing and waiting until this ret variable becomes true and this variable will become true when the script would be able to see a file upload window but how it would recognize this this is the file upload window so if i go to the website and i click on this browse button if you would see on the top it is showing choose file to upload now this is the heading of this window so the code which is being written in the vbs file will become true as soon as it sees this choose file to upload window this window so once it sees this it will become true and then if you would come to the next line now this we have just added some delay so that it pauses for a while and then it moves forward and here if you would see if return is true then we are executing very important command now this command we are using the object which we had created over here in the first line we are telling this object dot run and this command should be as is this command is doing a control c like it is copying the argument now this argument is actually the parameter which we had passed from the macro file if you remember this was the parameter str upload file and its value is this file path so what is happening when this line of code is getting executed in the clipboard it is copying the file path the file path gets copied in the memory and then rest of the things are very simple we are just performing the tab operations like we are hitting the tab key we have the tab key on the keyboard these two lines of code will actually hit tab twice and then the next step is we are doing a control v if you remember at this step it has stored the file path in the clipboard and in this step which i am highlighting it is doing a control v so it is pasting the file path in the file uploader window here it would paste the file path and once it has done we are hitting tab twice why i am doing this if you would see now my control is at the file name if i hit tab once it focuses on the all files if i hit tab another time it focuses on this open button so once my focus is on the open button the next line of code is we are hitting enter and once i hit enter the file which is mentioned over here 
will get selected in this selector file control so this is the actual code here we have called the VBS file and the VBS file has the internal code which would be actually performing the operation so do not worry because I have this code written over here you could come to this site and you have this thing called automate file uploads just navigate to this website I mean this web page and all the things the entire VBS script has been written over here here you will also find the steps which I have explained so you could just copy this and create your own VBS file and also the macro code is also available over here so you need not worry at all so since our code is now ready let's go to the macro and now execute it now I'm removing the breakpoint from this point and keeping it at the last line so that you will come to know that the execution went smoothly and it came to the last line of this routine so I am clicking on this green button on the top the website has launched you could see now it click on the browse button it has done that and now it would invoke the VBS file internally and provide the file path and upload it so it has pasted the file path and now it will click on the open button it has done that it is now you could see the file over here and if you'd see in the background the cursor has moved to ends up which means now it is not stopping the file win file uploader window has vanished because we have provided the file path and now it is not stopping the execution and it is moved on to the length last line of the routine so this is how we have successfully achieved automated file uploads using excel macros I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, do let me know. I'll be happy to help. If you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you'd be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.